Hair mineral analysis. Um, that's something really, really, really interesting. Um, sometimes they call it hair trace mineral analysis. And there's different companies that do the analysis. And I stumbled onto this stuff a couple of years ago, and I was just blown away. I don't, be I can't believe that they don't use this more often. You know, some naturopaths and people will do it. Now, it doesn't solve all the problems of the mind and the emotions and stuff, but it really helps us understand what's going on on a real physical uh, level, and it's very empirical. Also, I think if you do hair mineral analysis with a blood draw analysis and, and, and compare, you might even have a better uh, way of analyzing what's really going on in the system and how jammed up different minerals are. For example, mm -hmm. in a hair mineral uh, analysis that you might get from a doctor or like this, I think this guy, he there's a company he works with. Uh, by the way, the book is called Nutritional Balancing and Hair Mineral Analysis. Check it out. By Lawrence Wilson, MD. And this chart, uh, by the way, is phenomenal. And I'll, I'm going to get into that in a little bit. By the way, there's another great, great, great guy. Um, I, I'll do a review of, of his book eventually. I just got to, I don't know where it is right now. But I absolutely love his work. And if you go to his website... You can find, not this guy, he's got great stuff on his website too, and he gets into some other stuff. Um, but this this other guy, I can't think of his name right off the bat. I'm sorry, guys. I just I should have pulled it off before I did my um, did my review here. Uh, let's give it one more shot. Let me, I can, maybe I can find it. Anyway, whatever. So, okay, so let's talk about this book. Great thing about this book is it really gives you a deep sense of all the different types of conditions, like attention deficit and learning disorder, right? And he talks about, um, you know, low sodium, potassium ratios, and very fast oxidize, you know, oxidation rate, toxic metals, like lead, copper, cadmium. Now, if you look on this little chart here, lead, copper, and cadmium, You'll find that cadmium is fought by co uh, so copper is also high too. So you want to get something that's going to knock out both of those. So let's see, manganese will, and calcium will. Lead will be knocked out by calcium, manganese, iron, and copper. So if you have basically like iron, manganese, and ca calcium in the system, all that stuff that's causing the hyperactivity is going to start to move out. But I skipped ahead. There, let me see if I can find a chart in here. So this is like a kind of like a like a sample of what kind of um, test. Um, I, I forget what you call these. Like these are called um, like an, an like an analysis printout or whatever, right? And sometimes what you'll find out is, oh, the mercury and lead are really low or like non-existent. I'm totally clean. I'm great. I'm, you know, I'm like one of the only people on the planet that's mercury free. And you know. no, that means it's stuck in you. The healthier you get, what you'll notice is those figures, those numbers, let's say six months later, you test it. All of a sudden you got all this mercury coming out and you'll see that you'll see it in the hair because the hair is a mechanism for the, the heavy metals to come out. You see, it's a way of detoxing the body, excreting it out. Um, but it's not the only way, okay? So it's, it's a good idea to check the blood out, maybe do, uh, there's other types of analysis. And if you combine those with muscle testing, you can really get into a nice, smooth nutritional protocol that um, can solve a lot of problems. But, um, so for example, I'm going to get to the core of this book in a, a, right now, actually. And this is it. A lot of people, when they get these type of tests done, what happens is, um, oh, by the way, uh, kind of being hyperactive right now, I guess, but he also teaches um, like, a, like a home study course thing. And once you get that, I think it's $500. By the way, he's not paying me or anything. I just know about it and I'm thinking about getting that certification. The company that, 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 that you see the samples from in here will allow you to do trace mineral testing with clients I guess you could call them or whoever um, so you can get that ability to send the hair in and get the analysis back whereas some companies won't but um, so back one step 
the deal is this with when you get a hair mineral analysis done a lot of times people go oh yeah my mercury was high my uranium was this and my uh, selenium was this and blah 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 they're looking at all these trace elements but when you read these materials you discover that's aren't that important they're considerations the most important minerals you need to look at in these analysis are four and then two extras the four are calcium magnesium sodium and potassium and so once you understand what's going on with those minerals a lot of things open up and you start to understand what's going on on an endocrine level too it's going on with the thyroid the adrenals um now, I don't know if it talks about the testes and ovaries, but those are really important uh, glands that need to be considered. And then there's copper and zinc, if I'm not mistaken. Let me just quickly check. No, it's not zinc. It's iron and copper, I think. Anyway, um, I would probably say zinc and copper, though. But I'd have to look through the material again to just have like a definitive um, kind of take on that but if you look for example here this is really perfect they have these different charts he's put in here when you look at the tests so for example if you look at this one it says this is a mild inversion so the the na which is sodium and k is potassium they're really high and the magnesium and calcium are really low so I'm just going to read just right off the bat from here just so you get a feel for this. Uh, this is the first pattern to observe on a hair mineral test. It involves mainly the potassium and sodium ratio. When this ratio is less than 2.5 to 1, it is called an inversion. Or an inverted ratio, the sodium potassium is called the vitality. It is so important, vitality ratio. It is so important that in many instances, an entire corrective program is given just to correct this ratio. A low ratio is a trend for protein catabolism, adrenal exhaustion, sugar intolerance, and other catabolic disturbances. Since protein breakdown can affect any tissue, this uh, ratio affects all organs and tissues. An inversion pattern may be mild, moderate, extreme, or very extreme. So, this is an extreme pattern right here. Lots of potassium in the system. The potassium is very high. It's getting out. And the, others, the other ones are, see, like, the, the, the system is just, like, in this, like, kind of, like, alarm state. Because the calcium magnesium relax you, the potassium and sodium, like, fire they activate you. I mean, sodium and potassium are very explosive, you know. If you just have pure, like a can of pure potassium or pure sodium, they're going to, like, you open it and it starts reacting with oxygen right away. It's explosive. So, magnesium and, cal uh, magnesium and calcium are reactive, but they're not, like, explosive, you know. They react, they physical, tss, you know. If you look up in YouTube, um, like like calcium reacting with oxygen or something, you'll see it's not as reactive as these other ones. So one of them is like fire, one of them is like activity, but it's like a calmer activity. So anyway, if you understand all that kind of stuff or if you're into nutrition, this is a must-have. You have to understand this type of material because um, it's just, it's where it's at.